Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, welcome. It's your girl Tino Bach. You can call me Tino. You know what we do here? We can be real, we can be classic, we can be entertaining. Period. So if you want to join this family, click on the red button over there, the subscribe button, and join this family. As you can see by the title of this video, we're doing a chit chat. Get ready with me. I'm going to be doing my makeup while chatting with you guys on med school and life in general. Um, I hope you like the video. Stay tuned and subscribe. Let me start by priming my face. Uh, medical school. <laughs> it is camp! It's a scam. You know what? I feel like when people are giving out advice about medical school, they should really be honest. And not just sugarcoat things because um people gonna die. So people are gonna cry. <laughs> I'm this close to crying, but um, we're not gonna let that happen, child. So, um, yeah. So, I'm in my first year, and you're gonna be confused because I've been in my first year for a while now. <laughs> the thing is, um, yeah, if you don't do like four A levels, if you don't do physics, biology, chemistry, and math, all the four you don't uh get straight into medicine so you have to do like pre-med a whole year of doing that over again all the subjects that you didn't do so and that's where i was at before i came to unilas which is Texella. they made me do everything all over again um because i did math biology and chemistry i didn't do physics so um what they do at unilas is that you you do physics for a whole year just physics or the subject you wouldn't have done maybe by i don't know but it takes a lot to do everything all over again for a whole year um so i was in first year still am in first year so when i changed when i came to the university of lusaka i did the bridging program it's still pre-med yeah confusing so like most schools in Zambia have um, pre-med, the pre-med program goes for a year but at the University of Lusaka it's a year and uh, and six months. So the year, the one year is for like natural sciences, the biology, chemistry, math and physics and the six months is where you do medical terminology, biochemistry, history of medicine and uh, what's the other subjects? Those are the four subjects I was doing last semester. On top of the one year I had done at Tegzilla. So I'm officially now an MBCHB student. And the transition was quite rough. <laughs> Let me do my eyebrows and I'll come back. This is my first semester as an MBCHB student. And let me tell you the transition has been tough. Like, adapting from doing four courses to doing seven but if i break them down to almost 10 is a lot it's a lot i used to like go to school from 9 to 11 but now i used to go around 5 p.m or even later and i'm just like um when does it end when does it end the work is is is, is a lot it's, it's a lot and if i say a lot i'm not even joking it's really really bulky and i wasn't prepared for that because i just thought it's just going to be like pre-med time three or well it is pre-med time five i think or 20. i just thought it was just going to be like pre-med for the rest of the five years but um chill <laughs> no um this is a lot of work there's a lot of things it's it's hard in the sense that there's a lot to do. It's not hard in the sense that it's difficult to just can't, you know, navigate your way through it. Well, yeah, some do struggle to navigate through the huge look, hmm? the huge, the huge workload. <laughs> some do struggle uh, to go over, to go through the huge workload. And I guess that's how it's difficult. It's difficult in the sense that there's a lot to do and no time at all <laughs> so you really have to be reading a lot you know when i used to watch uh, videos on youtube about my students saying they study from like six to eight hours a day i was just like um 
is everything okay i just thought you know people exaggerate but let me tell you now nah. they are telling the truth they are telling the truth if you don't study for like a minimum i think a minimum is like three four hours a day um <laughs> then you are a genius because um you're gonna fail <laughs> you learn different courses every single day so if you pile up the work you die if you like out, out read like towards exams or whatever you're gonna die so it's just it's just been three weeks into medicine and i'm just like um is this going to be my life is this really going to be my life to i'm i'm done i a whole video answering uh your questions i put a question stick on instagram asking what you'd like to know about studying uh, medicine in zambia so if you miss that sticker and you still want to ask you can dm me i'm going to record that video straight after after this one anyway so med school is is a lot you also have to value your mental health throughout this whole med school experience because you go crazy anyway i've scared you guys enough <laughs> but it's not it's not that bad it's not as bad as i probably have made it seem as but um we want more details in the world come and join us so anyway aside from school uh but school is my whole life now to be honest school is not my life <laughs> i literally have no time to go out not like i don't have time i can only go out during the weekends because um during weekdays it's 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 in that pack anyway um i want to thank you guys for the support those who watch share and comment your comments and your love doesn't go unnoticed i like to appreciate you guys um continue doing what you do because it encourages us to continue putting out content it's just nice people say like your content like your vibes i mean it warms my heart it really warms my heart thank you for the support the indie support thanks so much i feel like my contour is a bit too low today but um yeah i need to finish my makeup like the sun is going. I need to take pictures. I need to finish it in like a few minutes. I'm going to rush through this. These past two years flew by so quickly. I couldn't even keep up. One minute it was 2019, the next minute 2022. I'm wondering how did we get here? How did we get here? <laughs> you notice how young people are just dying. It's scary because you know it's a normal it's not the normal thing. I mean we all like expect like the old people to die, not the young ones. Of course God just takes life at any point. But the frequency at which has been happening these days is just a bit too much. I'm wondering like um are we even safe? Like we could wake up one day in a mud there. And that scares me a lot and it has made me realize that you need to maintain a good relationship with the Lord every single minute because you don't know what time or when you'll be called to go and that's really scary because if the Lord were to come right now I would not go to heaven I mean straight up hell I need to read it, um, that relationship with god there are times when i feel connected to him and there are times that i feel disconnected to him and it's purely my fault purely purely my fault and because the world will come on a day which you and i won't know that's scarier you get but 
I feel like people these days are just, you know, worshiping because they fear hell, not because they genuinely love God. At some point in time, I was genuinely in that kind of relationship with God, we understood each other, and life was just going on okay. I, 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 I don't know where that went. I just feel disconnected and I wanna, I wanna, I wanna do something about that. Anyway, in other news, I've been watching Love is Blind. Like, if, if you don't know what Love is Blind is, um, what planet are you living on, sis? <laughs> what planet are you living on? Because it's the hardest thing out there. I like the first season more than the second season. Of course, they haven't released, like, the the final season for us to find out who actually got married. If you don't know what I'm talking about, maybe go and watch Love is Blind and then come back and finish the video. I don't know. But, um, Love is Blind. Let me just say what it's about. Uh, people, like those of, you know, marriage age, those that actually want to get married, go to an experiment where they find their partners through talk, they talk to their partners. What am I saying? Like you, <laughs> the English is refusing. You get to talk to people through war, like a war. They call, they call them pods. You talk to people without actually meeting them, and you even sit a whole week, wedding day. You get engaged. As you know, you get engaged, and then that's when you see your your fiance, and that's when you you dis- you will um, make the ultimate decision to get married to them or not. I feel like in as much as they say love is blind, you can't. They say love is blind. That is it really blind? Because I've noticed from like the first season lauren and cameron like those are like the literal perfect couple everybody's favorite um yes they connected emotionally first and then when they actually saw each other they were physically attracted to each other i don't think love is blind honestly because those that didn't uh like each other physically that didn't have a physical attraction to each other didn't even get married in the end because love is really not blind it's not blind but it's always better to connect on um an emotional level before connecting on a physical level you get like we are just blinded by looks we most of us just just go out with people just because they look good without even actually um assessing if their if their heart is right if they intellectually there if you connect, like if you, are, you share the same interest or whatever, we overlook that just because, oh, he looks good. But here, yeah, you get to to connect emotionally before you see that person. Love is not blind, but at least at this time around, you won't have, you won't think of looks first. The looks will come late. You get. <laughs> Do you, you should watch it. I honestly think uh, Natalie and Shane will get married. But I have a feeling Danielle and Nick won't. And Danielle is just um, not ready for marriage, frankly. But she has a lot of insecurities that she's throwing on to Nick. And I feel like it's unfair. Like, you came to this experiment looking for a husband. But you're so sabotaging that whole process. And for what? Just picking fights where it's not necessary. Um, who's ready? Who, who's made for that? Like, Nick is just an understanding husband, fiance, and I feel like he deserves better. And it's not Danielle because that marriage will not last. But if they did get married, then I'm um, good for them. But uh, we'll find out if it really worked out. But yeah, y'all should really watch that scene because it's. It's really nice. It's really nice. Like it, it makes you realize that um, there's more to people than actually uh, what they look like. But ultimately, what they look like matters. But it's not like what you should look at first. So at least if you connect on an emotional level with someone and they look good, that's a plus. Because you would have liked them for who they are before liking them for what they look like. You get... Yeah, I like that. But you get like African uh, parents won't... I won't just take that as it is. I, I just imagine going to my mom and saying, um, I met this guy 
a week ago we're getting married in a month she's just going to be like are you crazy <laughs> you are mad and i understand that because you just can't marriage is a big thing you just can't get married to someone you've met for for a month well people do that but um us africans are not used to that type of thing and knowing my parents are going to be like are you crazy get out of here you get so uh, but um, who would want to do that me i wouldn't want but if push comes to shove i say this i'll go to love you to love is blind and i really should finish this makeup look because time the sun is saying goodbye and i need pictures for the gram so let me come back when i'm actually done with the with the face um yeah so this is the finished look guys um i hope you liked this video if you did thumbs it up like it share and subscribe if you haven't known already so that you join the family you like you here i know you like it here so you might as well join the family anyway um until my next video sending love and light